Hello friends welcome to MongoDB with C# Sharp beginners tutorial so this is the seventh video of this tutorial series if you are watching our video for the first time you can find the playlist link and all other video links of this tutorial series in the description i suggest you to watch previous videos if you are a beginner we request you to support us by subscribing the channel and liking the videos don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you will get notified once we upload new videos we'll be uploading more video tutorials of latest technologies and techniques in software development so stay updated now let's the start now let us start the session so today we are going to cover the bulk write option in mongodb so what is bulk write i will explain bulk write means we can do operations like insert update delete and uh, we can include it in a bulk write means we can uh, do multiple operations for example if you need to delete one record and insert two records then update one record and if all these operations you have to do in a single collection then we can use bulk write option so let us check how we can do that so for testing that or for checking that i'm just okay uh, copy uh, creating one more button and changing the text to bulk write now changing the name to bulk so btn bulk write and now i am taking the click event of this particular button okay now for showing a demo i am just declaring a some product codes so just before that if you are a, if you are watching the video newly you might need to understand our product model class so we are having product id product code product name then price so these are the elements in the product model class so i'll just run the application and i'll show you uh, how we are showing the data so the application is running now so now currently we have five different records in product collection so these are the product codes 101 to 105 then we have given some the p product names then prices different prices okay now let us check how we can write a bulk write function so in order to show the demo I'm just declaring a product list uh, equal to new list of string so 101 we already have 101 product then product code yeah let's include 102 as well and 104 now let's include some new product codes 1110 then 111 then 112 okay so now basically what we need to do is if a product code exists in the database then it should upset I means it should update the value product name and price and if the product code doesn't exist it should create a new record so we have already uh, covered upset function upset method in uh, a previous video 
So now we need to use this upset method in a bulk write option. So let us check let us check how we can do it. Var bulk write um, model list equal to new bulk write um, sorry new list of write model of product okay now we are just uh, looping through the product code list okay sorry here I have given product so just we can rename it to product code list so for each var product code in product code list okay now first we are creating a filter definition Pro, sorry filter definition is equal to builders of product dot filter dot equal to a such that a dot product code is should be the product code this is the first filter definition now next what we need to do is we have to declare an update definition is equal to builders of product dot update dot set as such that a dot product name should be uh, okay we can give it like this product then space then the product code should come okay so so the name will be product space then the pro product code whatever in this uh, the value of the product code in this variable and the price is such that a dot product so not product price okay we are just uh, setting the price to 100 or oh, see uh, yeah for example 40 for all products <coughs> okay so the product price uh, sorry product name should be like this and the price should be 40 now we need to declare a update one model is equal to new update one model of product and uh, the filter definition update definition and so uh, this is the update model for uh, this particular product with filter definition and update definition or else uh, we can give it straight uh, bulk write model sorry oh sorry sorry bulk write model list dot add new update one model then we are also mentioning one more thing is absurd equal to true so as i told we need to absurd it if the uh, date if the record exists it should update if it doesn't exist it should insert okay now so after declaring these two variables we are adding the update one model with the filter definition and update definition to the bulk byte model list okay now we have to give only one command uh, product collection dot bulk write and we have to pass this bulk write model list as a parameter so now what will happen is while we executing this particular method 
it will pass all the update model uh, update one model uh, values or update one model uh, function along uh, in a single request so all these things will happen with a single request instead of updating or instead of upsetting with multiple requests we can do all these things with a single request now let's check how it works i'm starting the application so here you can see uh, we have mentioned 101 102 104 so these three product codes are already in our list or in our database so here for these three it should update and uh, these three 110 111 and 112 these are not in our database so so it should insert new records now i'm clicking on bulk write Oh, and I am sorry after clicking bulk right we haven't given the load product data function here so to refresh the data that is why it is not loaded in the data grid view anyway now again if we are running the application automatically it will uh, in the form load function we have given this method so automatically it will load the latest data see now you can see here 101, 102 and 104 got updated and it has inserted three new records 110, 111 and 112. So the product name got in, uh, updated and the price we have just hard coded the price to 40 here so the price has updated to 40. So this is how we can use bulk write method in a single bulk write command we can do multiple write options here we can use insert update or uh, uh, delete whatever functions we need so hope you understood how it works if you have any doubts you can just share your com uh, share your doubts in the comment comments and uh, we will be replying as soon as possible so hope you enjoyed the video please like the video and uh, uh, thank you all see you in the next video